My sponsor, Instant Mud Coins, is currently running a special offer. You guys can use code ZERK40 for 40% off through Cyber Monday. Check it out right now. Links in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I want to go over the best blitz offers left to go ahead and spend you guys' bolts on. Now I'm also going to be going over some of the offers that have points. I really just want to go over the remaining offers that I feel like are the best values whether you're spending money or if you're not spending money guys. If you're not spending money you can actually get about 10,000 blitz bolts. A little bit over that actually if you play like all the solos, the house rules, everything like that. So unfortunately you're not going to get Tyreek Hill or Cam Chancellor without actually spending money or spending a lot of coins on going to the auction house and buying Evan Ingram and quick sell him. He's the only player that actually quick sells for bolts right now. So you really do have to spend money on this promo if you want to get Tyreek, which it's the Blitz promo, Black Friday. Yeah, it's kind of how it is. You have to spend money. But I do want to give a shout out to Jalen Newton for being a part of the Nota Gang and also happy birthday. If you guys want to be shouted out in the next video though, drop a like and vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below the Nota Gang. You guys already know I'm giving away two $25 gift cards on the 30th. I'm going to select a random video that I upload either from now to the 30th and also a couple days before this. I've been uploading videos doing this as well. All you guys have to do to enter. Drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Comment down below, Zerkmas. Leave a way to contact you. Simple as that. And then in December, we're going to start with some consoles, more gift cards. I have an Xbox. I'm trying to get a PlayStation. We'll see what we can do. But I want to go over the best offers to go ahead and buy. So really, I'm going to go over the ones that I feel like are the best value to go ahead and get. And to be honest with you guys, there is a simple calculation when it comes to this. Like if you're trying to get Tyreek Hill or in general, if you want to know how many coins can I get per bolt, it's pretty simple. So if you guys are trying to find out the way to go ahead and get Tyreek Hill, what you want to do is really take it step by step here because here's the thing. I don't know how many bolts all the offers are going to cost. I, the only offers that I know of, their value, are the ones that are in the store right now and the ones that we have had so far. I don't know how much, you know, the special 9 p.m. offers are going to be. I don't know how much the players are going to be on the dot specifically. We know, like, a range. Uh, and then also, I don't know how much, like, the rest of the pack are going to be. So I can't tell you specifically, but I can tell you which ones I still feel like are going to be the best ones going to get. But if you're trying to get Tyreek Hill, that one's kind of up to you when it comes to actually actually getting the blitz tickets but it's very simple you guys can see chris godwin here right six blitz tickets 1100 blitz bolts so that is a ratio of 183.3 blitz bolts to tickets ratio but then if we take a look over here at the clutch pack this has a 233.3 ratio because it's 700 bolts to only three tickets so in terms of which one's a better value definitely Chris Godwin. Now, not just that, but this is going to be something I'm going to tell you guys right now when it comes to the actual best offers to go ahead and get. If you are determining should you spend it on players or packs, here is my thinking here. Take the guarantees. You have absolutely no idea what you are going to be able to get out of a clutch pack, but you know exactly what you're going to get out of taking a player. And that is going to hold very true to which offers I feel like are the best. If you guys have been grinding out solos, you've been grinding out house rules, you have a couple thousand blitz bolts, maybe you even have up to 10,000 if you've been playing all of them. I know there still has to be more solos out to get the max 10k, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and also if you guys have been playing house rules, but I'm going to go over in my opinion, the best ones to go ahead and get. But starting off, there actually is one of all around the best blitz offers currently available in the store, in my opinion. And that is this 89 to 90 overall power of pass. Now, I might be like, well, why is this such a good value? Well, here is the thing, right? Chris Godwin currently is an 80 overall player. Now, he is selling for about 25,000 coins right now, and I really don't expect him to uh, really go up much in price, right? I did make a coin tip this morning. You guys can go ahead uh, and watch that video if you want to hear about investing into some of these players and holding on to them, buying some up on the auction block, because I really feel like to get, that's a good idea uh, with certain players. And I'll go over that in this video as well when it comes to the best blitz offers. Chris Godwin, I don't feel like he's a good one to go in and get, but let's say you bought two of him instead of the 89 to 90 overall power pass, right? So first up, you know, that's 2,200 Blitz Bolts for two of him. So you get one more Blitz ticket for 100 more Blitz Bolts here with this uh, with this offer here, the 89 to 90 overall power pass, but you get 50K. The 89 to 90 overall power pass right now, 
Well, in terms of who you can use it on, there are multiple players that go for way more than 50,000 coins right now, like Denzel Ward, although he has a series redux, that's going to take a little bit of price hit later today as well, and some other players, but this is, in my opinion, a long-term investment. Even though you can still use it right now in a lot of different players, you can go into your team, you can sell off a player that's 80k, 90k, 100k, whatever, and then slide into 89 to 90 overall power and passion, definitely do that, but here is the thing. Throughout the year, guys, cards come out, tons of new players come out, 95 overalls, 94 overalls, 96 overalls later on in the year, and you're going to need an 89 to 90 overall player of whatever player. Now, if you don't think that that really, is really going to like change the price of an 89 to 90, go take a look at what 89 overall Julio Jones went for when he got that 50 upgrade. When he got that 50 card, that 89 Julio was like 300k. So trust me, this power of pass will come in handy and make sure you guys are marking down exactly where your power passes are at now that 89 to 90 overall power pass is definitely one you guys want to go ahead and get but also there is a 91 to 92 overall power pass that is actually in the game tomorrow at noon now how much is this going to be that we don't know now seeing as how the 89 to 90 overall power pass is 2300 i don't really know how much that power up pass is going to be here but I'm going to guess like 3,500, probably somewhere around there. Maybe I'm way off. Maybe it's going to be like four grand or whatever. But I really do feel like if you're going to buy a couple of things and you want to take it, like think about long term with your team, the 89 to 90 power pass and definitely the 91 to 92, both of them, in my opinion, are essential offers to get. So those are two offers that I would definitely look into. And then we also have players. I feel like players are a really, really good investment as well. Uh, I told you guys about this morning. I actually bought a ton of Dante Jackson's. Take a look at Brandon and Ayuk and see what he went for, right? When he first came out in the auction house, he was selling for like 30, 35K. Now he's selling for 45,000 coins, closer to 50K. Dante Jackson, I bought a bunch of them up for about 40,000 coins. When this Blitz promo is over, even, you know, starting now, he's already going up in price now. In like a day or two, I fully expect him to be like 55, 60,000 coins. I feel like these are actually really, really good values. And some players that I would take a look into, uh, if you're looking to get a player, you want to get a good player offer, someone's going to have some good value to them. I feel like Buddha Baker is probably number one. I feel like tons of people want Buddha Baker. Now at midnight on Monday, we actually do get Jadavion Clowney. So I feel like he's going to be one of those players you may want to look into as well. Probably someone that's going to hold some decent value to him. And especially Buddha Baker, who actually comes out later on on Monday. Now, I feel like Clowney is kind of one of those guys that are going to be decent value because of his name Clowney. But in terms of is he actually like one of the best outside linebackers in the game? There's a lot of good outside linebackers. He comes out at 12 a.m. on Monday, but at noon on Monday is Buda Baker. If you're saving up your blitz points to get a player, I feel like right now the remaining players, we do have, you know, Zach Martin, Daryl Henderson, those guys. I feel like Buda is the best one to go ahead and get. How many blitz bolts will he be? Probably somewhere around like 42 to 4,600 blitz bolts is my guess. Maybe somewhere in the middle, 44, 4,500, somewhere around there. But he is definitely going to be uh, pretty valuable, in my opinion. One of the best free safeties in the game and a really fun player. So that is definitely one that I would look into if you guys want to play here. But let's talk about real quick these one hour offers that we have remaining for the last couple of days. So day three, we have day four and day five. All have one hour offers. Day six does not have a one hour offer at night. So of the three final days, tonight at 9 p.m., we actually have a series Redux pack. Uh, tomorrow, we have an Autumn's Ace, which Autumn's Ace is right now go for like 120K-ish. Uh, and then day five, we have a Legends player. So in my opinion, I don't think it's close. I think it is going to be probably Series Redux because there are some Reduxes out there to go for right now. Anywhere from 200 to 300, there's a couple of them. Uh, and then others go for like 150 to 200K-ish. So there's a decent amount of them. Yes, the market's going to take a hit. But Autumn Ace is already are 120K. But I don't know the prices of these, how many points these are going to be. These are point offers. Uh, the Legends one, probably the one that I'm least excited for, unless it actually is like a pretty good one. But also the Series Redux, you guys can see right here, is a fantasy pack. So it's probably going to be a choice of three. So when it comes to which offer do I think you should spend your points on, if you're going to buy any of them, I definitely think it's the Series Redux. Now, I know some people are also going to ask me about the coin value when it comes to Blitz. So here is the thing. In my opinion, if you're going to buy any packs like the Legend Fantasy Pack, the Clutch Packs, I wouldn't buy any packs that don't actually give you like a set 
guaranteed thing, if that makes sense. And what I mean by that is don't buy any packs like a clutch pack and say, okay, well, this has a 40,000 coin value because you don't really know what you're going to get out of the clutch pack. You could get a, a base elite that goes for 10k, right? But if you take a look through all of the days that are remaining, like day four here, right? You go to the 12 hour offers. We do have a 50 bundle, which comes out tonight at midnight. I actually feel like that's going to be a pretty decent value. Now that's, of course, going to be with points. Uh, that's probably going to be like a $100 bundle. We do have a game changer and clutch bundle coming out at noon. Again, I'm not a big fan of these packs that don't tell you exactly what you're going to be getting, like uh, the ultimate kickoff fantasy pack, right? You knew what you were getting there. You were getting a hero that was only to kick off player now given it didn't have crazy value that was with blitz bolts though so the next offer that i actually feel like could be worth it like okay i want to make sure i get some guaranteed value out of this what do i go ahead and buy would actually be the 85 plus overall legend pack now this is going to be at midnight on day five so currently we're on day three and it's saturday so this would actually be monday at midnight so basically, just as Monday starts, 12 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, that's not crazy value. And again, we don't know the price of it, but at least you know, you do this pack, you're guaranteed getting an 85 plus overall legend player pack, right? Now, if you don't want to do that, you save up, you do the gridiron pack, you do the most feared pack, whatever, you may not get much out of it. That's the thing. So to me, as long as the 85 plus overall legend player pack doesn't cost a ton, that is definitely one that I'll be spending a decent amount of blitz bolts on. I feel like of the remaining ones, that's really the best. Aside from and Buddha Baker, I feel like he's really good. So I just gave you guys, in my opinion, the best offers remaining to go ahead and get when it comes to, like the power up passes, the remaining players that I feel like are good, and any packs that I feel like are good when it comes to points. I feel like the 50 bundle coming out at midnight is probably going to be pretty good if it's anything like the Legends one. You make it like a guaranteed full the 50 player, which would be pretty sweet if they did that for a topper they may end up doing that but then when it comes down to well if you have any remaining blitz bolts what are you spending on i guess that comes down to you guys just deciding on which pack you want to do and you could base it off what you feel like you're going to pull out of it for the amount of blitz bolts but with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure to drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below wanted to get this video off you guys give you a little bit of help on my opinion for the remaining best blitz offer so with that being said hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you did drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to the channel comment down below zerk miss don't forget to leave where to contact you I'll see you guys next time